Hello and welcome back here to episode 6 of the 10 million dollar pick challenge on Castle New. Now our uh, series goal is to get 10 million dollars from our picks and their byproducts and as you see at the very top left we're still at zero and that's probably not going to change this episode. It might start changing after the next episode we'll see. Um, but for this episode Let's focus on what our goals are for this episode. Our first goal is we're going to want to harvest the wheat. And as you can see, this field, it's ready to go. So we're going to harvest this field. And then after we're done with that, we're going to move way over there, the distance to our sorghum field. As you can see, way over there in the distance, it is also ready to be harvested. And then um, through this episode, we're going to play probably a couple of months and uh, also harvest the soybeans because those should be ready in the next month or two then we're done with that we're going to mulch the field so that we can then plant the wheat and the sorghum and then our final goal for this episode is i want to do some upgrades around our new farmyard so with that let's hop in the harvester and get started All right, we got the core slate in for our harvester, so we're gonna turn it loose with the worker and uh, let it uh, get this field harvested so we can uh, hop over to a tractor and uh, get ready to start carting all the wheat we're gonna get from this field. And I think for the carting, we're gonna use my favorite tractor on this series, which is this old fit, because man, this thing just sounds I said before, it just sounds like a big boy. It's, yeah, it knows it's gnarly. I mean, just listen to that thing. Yeah, that's how a tractor should sound. All right, so we're gonna use this trailer here. I know we have our bigger trailer, but that is, uh, well, it's parked a little ways away. So we're gonna use this one, and I think it should be fine because we're not be carting the wheat too far. So let's head over and uh, see how the harvester is doing and if it's ready to be unloaded yet. Well, the harvester has made it all the way around and it's still not full yet, but we're gonna go ahead and empty it here. And while we're emptying it, I do wanna remind you, if you have not already, uh, please subscribe. You know, the pigs love it. As you see here, I mean, he loves it. So subscribe. Whoops, there's a wall there. Uh, anyways, I'm here in the Massey while well, I'm not running into the walls. Uh, we are heading over here to grab the baler because, well, we're harvesting wheat and wheat uh, has straw and straw is something we need. Is this light on? Oh, it was on. Uh, but yeah, so straw is something that we need because that, uh, you know, that's an additional source of revenue. Um, also, our pigs do like straw, so we want to keep some of it, but maybe we can sell some and make some money because we got to pay the bills. Because our pigs aren't paying the bills right now. They're just eating away like little piglets. Because they're, they're pigs. Well, speaking of piglets eating me out of house and home, so is the uh, harvester. Because it's out of fuel. So we're going to need to top it off real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Oh, no. Our tank is empty. All right. So let's hop out here and we're going to have to buy some more fuel. Because we need more expenses. No, we're not buying that much. Um, let's just do a thousand liters. Oh boy, that's almost seven thousand dollars. Yeah. As soon as I get a four two, we're gonna need to upgrade the harvesters to something a little bit more efficient and maybe a bigger header too. Because we are getting some bigger fields. But yeah, we'll figure that out later. For right now, let's get this refueled and then get back out into the fields and finish our harvesting. All right, we got our first load of wheat here, and let's uh, take this over. Oh, there's a little bump there. Uh, let's take this over to our pig food processing and get it loaded into there. Um, I don't know if we're going to put everything here. We might be able to sell some of the wheat because we do already have 21,000 liters in here. So with this load here, we'll be right around 32,000 liters. And... Uh, Given that it's only one of the uh, four ingredients of pig food, that's going to go a long ways and feed a lot of pigs. So let's get this dumped in here, and then we'll kind of figure out after this if we're going to 
put some more in or if we're going to sell the rest. It's still up in the air that we might sell it. We'll figure it out. All right, we are just about done with harvesting. If I, I'm going to uh, pull up here and grab the rest of the wheat here. There's a little bit left here. We couldn't fit into the harvester tank because it was completely full. So let's back up here and then we're going to get this all dumped into our trailer. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to sell this load. We'll sell all of it um, because we have enough wheat in our pig food processing to... Uh, make plenty of pig food so we're good there on wheat all right so before we sell the wheat i'm going to get a worker going on the sorghum because this is a large field it's a very very large field but it's like the one of the largest fields is on the map so we're going to get that going we're going to head over here and we will hop in the uh, fence again and then take our load of wheat down to the sell point and see how much money we make. All right, we are down here at the flour mill and selling our wheat. Um, I'm not sure how much money we're going to get. We don't have a whole lot, but I think we will make some money from this. At least enough to cover our costs for a few months. It's actually doing better than I thought it would. All right. So we ended up with $8,703 plus our environmental score bonus of $108. That's actually not bad because we didn't have that much. So let's get back up and uh, empty their harvester because it uh, looks like Philip is all filled up and waiting for us. I'll do the size of this field and went ahead and grabbed the bigger trailer because we're going to have lots of trips and lots of sorghum, which is good. That means we might be able to sell some and make some good money. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And a couple minutes later, we are emptying the harvester again because we have an older harvester with a small header and not a very large capacity but it's what we can afford. All right, so I have a worker that is uh, emptying the harvester and another worker working the field. So they're taking care of all of that. So that can let me focus on these fields. So I just finished uh, liming this field here. So it's already, uh, well, to be mulched and then uh, replanted. And we got the horse mulcher out here just getting the field prep so we can replant it. And uh, one of the things we're going to need to do here pretty soon is um, I think look into getting a bigger field for our wheat because we have a large sorghum field. We have a large potato field. We even have somewhat large soybean field because we have multiple fields now with soybeans. And this is our only wheat field. So we need to kind of even that out a little bit and get some more land for wheat. Um, but right now we can't do that because we're tight on money. But that is something to look forward to as far as a future goal down the road in a future episode. All right, we finished all the mulching here and now we are planting wheat. Uh, we got our uh, horse uh, planter here and we're just going to get all this into the ground here. This also does fertilize it as well, which uh, saves us a step down the road of having to do that. Uh, so let me get this busted out real quick, and then uh, we will uh, check on the uh, how the harvesting is going, and also move on to our next project. All right, so the wheat is all planted, and I'm over here in the uh, harvester working on the sorghum field. And, uh, yeah, we have not made very much progress over here. In fact, we've made very little progress. I mean, we've, we've gotten some of the field done, but this is a large field and we did have not really done that much on it yet. So we're going to have to, uh, maybe look into getting something to help out with this. Um, cause yeah, this is going to take a very, very long time very long time 
All right, so we have emptied the harvester here <laughs> quite a few times. We're going to take this uh, 37,841 liters over here to our pig food production and uh, get this emptied into here, which should give us plenty of sorghum to keep it running for quite a while. Um, we are seeing low on soybeans and potatoes. We're down to 12,000, but I mean, we have 28,000 and going up rapidly of amount of our pick food so yeah so we're, we're doing good on pick food and we'll be able to make some good pick food from what we have currently in there and then we'll just keep filling it up with our crops as we uh, well harvest more fields so speaking of harvesting let's get back out here to the uh, soil and field and uh keep that harvester going because we can't afford for it to stop at all All right, I got a worker going here on the mulching for our large sorghum field because it's going to take a while to get this large of a field fully mulched. So we'll get this started now. And then I am actually going to do something about this harvester because that is just taking way too long and we can't afford to have it taking that long because we got too much to harvest and too much to do. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna sell this. So maybe i go ahead and repair it and repaint it so we get our max amount of profit from it. And then we're gonna take the money from this and lease a much better and bigger harvester. So we just made some good money on that. Uh, and then we're gonna go check if anything's on sale for harvesters and it is not. So let's hop over and uh, grab the one I want. That's right, we're getting the Reaper. This is a uh, fantastic mod from uh, Mac Trucker, and I will definitely put a link in the description so you can go check it out. And if you do download it, be sure and give it a good rating because that helps out the modders a lot. And this is a fantastic mod, by the way. So let's get the uh, header all connected here. If I can actually line up and drive, because evidently I'm having some driving problems. But I figured it out. I figured it out. But with this monster header and this, you know, beast of a harvester, we're going to tear through this field really fast. So let's drop this down and get started. And yeah, just look at that. We're just, we're, we're knocking it out. We're going to knock it out. No problem. You know what they say? Bigger is better. Yeah. More power, more power. You know, it is amazing how much difference a big boy harvester makes on harvesting. Oh my goodness. I mean, just like that, we are basically done here. We just have one little stretch and then, yeah, we're done. Just like that. Why did I not do this sooner? All right, so we have 42,969 liters of sorghum to sell. And we're heading over here to the animal dealer because there's a lot of chicken farmers around the area. And oh, oh boy. Again, I'm running into things. I swear I don't have to drive. Um, but yeah, lots of chicken farms and they like sorghum. So we're going to sell our sorghum to the uh, animal dealer. They're paying some good money for it. So but yeah, we'll take their money. So let's see how much we make here. I think we'll make some good money from this. Oh yeah, look at that go. Woohoo! Come on. All right. So we made $63,560 plus another 1,675 from our environmental score. So that is a really good payday. That is gonna help out a lot. Especially for our one of our you know upcoming goals here of upgrading the farmyard that gives us the uh, money we need to be able to afford that. All right, so got a burger going with the lime. So once this field is all limed and mulch, we can start planting uh, some sorghum and get ready for the you know get ready so we can start making some more food down the road here pretty soon. But in the interim, what's it over here? We're gonna buy some more pigs because. Ultimately, the more pigs we have, the more money we're going to make and the faster we're going to make it. So currently we have some sows, some piglets, male and female piglets, and we also have some porkers. So then we're going to do is we're going to get some more sows uh, just so that we can increase the amount we have 
and um, those are actually already full grown as well. So they'll be closer to reproducing and uh, also closer towards, uh, well, making us some money because once they're fully grown, we can start making money off of them. And you know what? I think I am going to buy another batch of 60 because why not? 221, let's, let's go for 281 because that will uh, just get us even much closer. Um, having those fully grown pigs going to help out a lot. And our pig pen, they're looking pretty happy. You know, they got food, they got water. They have everything to be happy about. And this field is moving along. So uh, let's move on to our next project because, yeah, we got lots to get done still. All right, we are now planting sorghum. And this is gonna take a little bit because we have a very large field and we did expand this field to even more, be even larger by expanding it into that neighbor field that we had before. So uh, this is gonna take a while, but once we get ready to harvest it, we're gonna have a lot of sorghum from this. And while that's being planted, we're gonna head over here and feed the pigs because we want to keep the pigs fat, healthy, and happy because, well, fat, healthy, and happy pigs make good money for us. All right, so we're going to do some upgrades to the farmyard because we need some sheds. We need to put our equipment into sheds because leaving it out on the field is not something we do. I mean, L Family Gaming Dad might do it, but we're not going to do it. And because I did call him out, I will actually put a link in the comments where you can go check out his series there. Um, he is currently doing um, cows on his uh, $10 million animal challenge. He finished chickens and moved on to cows after the chickens ran him off. Um, so he's over on Calms them now doing uh, cows. So I will put a link in the comments where you can go check out his series. All right, so we got our shed down and, you know, I really like this shed because it, it looks really good, especially on this map. This shed is actually from MA7 who also made the map, um, which is probably why it fits so well. It's, you know, kind of designed for the same type of region. So yeah, it works really well. So let's uh, move some of our equipment in here and uh, start filling it up. All right, so I uh, started putting some equipment in i realized you know we're gonna need even more space so i grabbed another uh, shed from ma7 which actually works really well with that one and just kind of put it on the end there and that way it gives us even more storage space uh for putting our equipment in so let's just get this landscaping done here and then we will be good to go so let's see if i can get this just right you just get this little piece down here all right, I think we are good to go. And yeah, so that actually works really well together when you put those uh, side by side. Uh, what's, uh, we're gonna need some lights though. So let me just grab one of these lights here and then we're gonna pop those down and then we will be good to go on this shed. All right, it is all done and we are good to go. Um, this shed here doesn't have any lights on it. That, I mean, the extension part, but that's fine. But yeah, this looks really good. I think it really fits with the way the map is laid out as well. So I like it. This this works really well together. But uh, leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it. I, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a good, um, it fits the map really well. But let's head over here because it looks like our worker has ran out of something. So let's get them uh, going again. All right, this is the last of the sorghum, and oh boy, did this take a while. But we are done. And that's a good thing, because this field is massive. It was, I mean, it was already a very large field. I think it's either the largest or second largest field on the map. And we went and expanded it to make it the largest. It was not already, because we didn't want to question if it was the largest or not. Because bigger is better. So we got that all done and that's going to be coming really awesome around harvest time because we're going to make a lot of money off of that field. So let's get this put away and then we're going to move on to the month of December because 
We still have one goal left for this episode, and that is to harvest the soybeans, and they are not ready yet, but hopefully they will be in the next month. And we are in December, and yes, the soybeans are ready to be harvested. So we're going to harvest this field here, and then we're also going to come over here and harvest this other field. And then as well, we also have a third field that is also ready to be harvested. So we're going to harvest this one too. It is sorghum, but that's fine. We want to harvest all three fields. And the you know, long-term plan is all three of these fields will be soybeans. Because uh, we want to get a lot of each crop type that we use for pig food so that we always have lots of pig food. So let's head into the harvester, which is not up here. It's over here. And let's get started. All right, we are out here harvesting the soybeans. And you know what? This will not take very long because with this harvester and this header, yeah, the reaper, it's just going to rip through all of this really quick. Also, we're getting some straw from this. Uh, so that's going to be some of the uh, legume straw uh, from beans. So we're going to get this uh, all done uh, really quick. And we're also going to make some money from that straw, which is a little bonus. All right. The first field done, we have a worker going on this field here. So let me turn them loose. And then we're going to head over and grab the beller and start belling up that straw. All right. We're just out here getting this all belled up. And uh, I don't think we'll make a lot of bells from this because... You know, it, it's not as much of a straw producing crop as, say, like wheat or barley is, but it does give us some straw. So we will uh, get this all belled up and uh, see how many bells we end up with. All right, first field is all done, and we ended up with three bells on that, which is actually more than I thought we would get. So that's pretty awesome. So let me get a worker started on this and. Let me see if I can get it to the right starting point back here. And then we will uh, get this field also all bailed up. Looks like our uh, harvester is actually almost done already, which is pretty awesome. Man, I love that harvester. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's stop because, yeah, oh boy. That was my fault. My fault. Now, well, thankfully, no damage done. Let me just uh, back up here again and... We'll get started again, because, yeah, whoops. Evidently, I like running into things. That must be my thing, running into things. And here I was thinking I was the best driver in farm sim. Well, oh, well, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. All right, so this is the first load of soybeans from the harvester. We have uh, 14,500 liters. And we have another load still, and that's probably going to be about eight or 9,000 liters, I'm guessing. Um, but we're going to put all of it into the pig food production because we want to get everything up to about thirty to 40,000 liters from each harvest. And the rest of it, anything beyond that, will sell. Uh, that way we make sure we have enough for the pig food because that's really important. Keep the pigs uh, happy, healthy, and fed. And then we also want to sell some too. So anything beyond that kind of um, goal line, we will sell so that we make sure we're making money until the pigs start picking up their fair share of profits. All right, we're going to bust out this field real quick. It won't take very long at all with this uh, harvester and header. So. We'll get this busted out real quick and then see how much we get from this field. Alrighty, and this is the last of the sorghum here. And it looks like we're going to hit just over 15,000 liters from this little field here, which is awesome. So let's get this uh, put into a trailer and get our harvester all put away. All right, this is the second load from the uh, soybeans. We're going to dump these into the production real quick. It was the last part was 8,264 liters. So not bad from those fields. All right, we are back over here in the Massey and we're going to get all the uh, bells uh, loaded into our trailer and see how many we got. 
And we ended up with eight bells from those two, not pretty small fields. So that's actually really good for that because soybeans do not put out a lot of straw. So let's get these uh, put up into our bell storage and then we'll figure out if we're going to keep them or sell them later. There we go. Oh, whoops. Well, I was not quite close enough to get them all. So let me just back up here and get try it again. And then we'll get these put up into there. All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, so let me get this bell trailer put away and then uh, let's go uh, empty out the harvester. All right, let's get this put into the trailer so we can uh, get that taken care of. And I don't think it'll fit. Uh, it, yeah, there's, there's pro probably just a little bit left in the harvester. Let's get this dumped into our uh, pick food production and then um, we'll get whatever's left over dumped as well. And before we grab the rest of the silver, I'm going to get a worker started on go ahead and mulching this field so we can get it all uh, prepped for the next uh, planting. All right. So when I said there's just a little bit left, there's quite literally like just a little bit left. So let's get this uh, 614 liters dumped into the pick food production. So there we go. We're done. All right, so I'm going to get this put away and you know, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode here. We achieved all of our goals. We got everything done and I have a worker going on the mulching and they will bust that out and we'll get the rest of the fields uh, mulched so that we can, uh, you know, on the next episode, start planting uh, oh, some more soybeans. So I want to thank you for watching and I hope you're really enjoying this series and this episode. If you are, be sure and give it a like and leave a comment. It really helps out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a, ooh, as I back into the pole, supporting our brand new shed. And I do it again and again. Oh boy, this is just uh, going downhill fast. You know what? Well, I better say goodbye um, before I tear down the building with my uh, new expensive harvester here. Um, I think we're good here. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I really hope to see you in the next video.